What's up YouTube? There is a mountain of HKS parts behind me as you guys can see. I've been posting some stuff on Instagram and I'm sorry. I've been really busy in personal stuff with my life and today's video we're going to unbox the HKS Step 2 2.8 liter stroker kit. We've got the pistons, we've got the connecting rods, the valve springs, HKS oil pump, Step 2 V-cam camshaft as well as Step 2 272 high lift exhaust cam. We got the cam pulleys for the exhaust side and then we've got the uh, valve stem seals all from HKS. So in today's video I figured it'd be good for me to go ahead and unbox the pistons with you guys and I've gone ahead and taken the wrist pin out of the factory piston and connecting rod. Once I remove the piston rings, I want to go ahead and weigh the OEM piston versus the HKS piston and the OEM connecting rod versus the HKS connecting rods and see what the difference in weight is and then I'll probably go ahead and pick up the HKS crankshaft versus the OEM crankshaft and weigh myself on the scale and just see what the difference is in weight. Now I picked this stuff up on Black Hawk Japan and the reason I bought the full step two right now is the uh, the Japanese yen versus the U.S. dollar right now is super low. Hey Siri, how much is 100 yen to USD? 100 Japanese yen is 69 cents. So as you guys can see, usually 100 yen is pretty close to about one dollar. So basically, all these parts right now are like 30% off. And I will put links in the description down below for everything that I ordered from Black Hawk Japan if you guys want to order the same stuff. They had the most competitive prices. These guys are great. Um, spent a lot of time texting back and forth on Instagram, just DMing them and asking questions. And they got me all taken care of. So let's get into unboxing. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and start with the pistons, guys. This one I already cracked into. If you guys follow me on Instagram, if you haven't, make sure you do. You got your nice Japanese instructions inside. This is the model number, the 21003-AN003. It's for the R32, 33, 34, RB26. All the instructions are in Japanese. So here we go. So we got inside the box. You've got all your different piston rings and all your little snap rings to put everything together. for connecting the connecting rods to the pistons. Let's go ahead and pop a piston out. I'm not going to open all of them. I'm just going to open one so you guys can see them. So here we go. Oh, HKS. This thing feels, feels very light. Piston rings are out. Let's come in and take a look at the difference in piston. And you can see the height on the stock piston is definitely a lot taller. That probably has to do with the stroke and everything, being that it's gonna be a longer stroke. Now I kept saying over and over I was gonna get a Nitto 2.8 stroker kit, but I decided to go HKS because of the V-cam and because I just wanted everything to work the way it was all designed and intended to work. And I didn't want to mix and max match HKS with Nitto and HKS, like I have the HKS oil pump. So this is what's going to work perfect with the HKS V-cam. And the reason I didn't want to go Nitto is they do all the machining. So this is going to work perfectly with all the valve clearances. And you don't have to worry about any of that stuff. It's literally just get the machine work done, get the blueprint done, assemble it, put it together. Everything works. You don't have to worry about getting your pistons cut or anything like that. HKS has already done all the science and all the R&D for you. You are good to go. Let's uh, take a look at the inside here versus the OEM. 
Let's look at all the ring lands versus the stock one. You can see they're a little bit different. You need to get the scale on something more level, but the stock one is going to come in at 13.4 ounces. Let's check the HKS. So 14.2 ounces, so it is a little bit heavier because it is a forged piston. And the reason I had opened the pistons prematurely, this is the box that the pistons and the khaki rods came in, and with that big dent up there, I was concerned maybe there was some damage with there, which there was not luckily. Let's go ahead and open, this is the connecting rods box. And your model number for these, 2304-RN006. Let's go ahead and crack this open. I don't know if you guys enjoy opening up uh, new stuff as much as I do this assembly so you got assembly lube in there which is pretty cool HKS is specific stuff manual again all Japanese again but this is what you guys want to see is what is in this little baggie but look at this look at that freaking HKS Conrad holy crap this thing is beautiful there's ARP studs in the bottom. And this thing is beautiful. This whole stroker kit is designed to rev up to 9,000 RPMs in conjunction with the HKS higher lift valve springs. And stiffen valve springs, but look at this compared to the OEM HKS. So you can see where they machine material out here to save weight versus the stock ones. And yeah, man, this thing is just beautiful. You can see all your oil galley stuff. Look at that. This thing is a work of art. Okay, let's get a good weight. I'm gonna weigh the HKS one first because my hands are clean. So one pound, 1.9 ounces. Let's go with the stock. One pound, 6.2 ounces. So four, over four ounces lighter on the stock one, or on the HKS one, which is gonna help rev it to that 9,000 RPM point. And that weight comparison was with the bottom bearing and the nuts and everything fully assembled. So you guys got an accurate comparison here. If you guys could hit the like button and subscribe, help a, a small channel out like me, I'd really appreciate it. I'm gonna go ahead real quick before we crack that crankshaft open. Just take a quick peek at the HKS valve springs. Let 
These are pretty cool looking. I'm not gonna open all these because I don't want to expose them to any type of particular, or any chance of moisture or anything, but you guys can see those are stiffer. Those are gonna help reduce any chance of valve float as we're revving to 9,000 RPM and as we're building that high-end horsepower. So there's your model number there, 21001-AN001. I ordered these from Blackhawk Japan and HKS was on back order on most of this stuff. So I waited for, I just recently got these. So this probably was like a two to three month wait. The stroker kit, I waited for only like two weeks. The HKS oil pump, which is right here, that took like a month to come in. Let's go ahead and pop these out of the way and crack open the camshaft. That's cool. Even comes with a uh, manual inside that box. So this is the Step 2272 exhaust cam. There's no need to open it up. You guys kind of get the idea, I can imagine. Um, let's go ahead and show you guys inside the Step 2 V-cam camshaft. So your biggest difference, guys, you can see that's the model number there, camshaft assembly, but this is your V-cam, so that's got your sensors, so that the VTC gear knows when to rotate, because that's your, it's gonna help with your VTC timing. I'm gonna go ahead and crack open the HKS oil pump, guys, and I apologize, you guys wanna see that crankshaft, I know, but I figured I'm gonna get the most view time on this video and the most audience retention by saving the best for last. So let's put you guys back up on the tripod. Let's crack open this HKS oil pump, which I've already peeked at before. And this thing is a work of art. It's high flow, I'll put the stats up on the screen. I believe it flows like 1.5 times more than the factory one. Plus the, uh, the oil pump drive, the gear is stronger. So it won't explode like the N1. But that is everything for my build so far. As you guys know, this stuff is not uh, cheap. We got about 10 grand worth of parts just sitting here on the table. Still have to buy the turbo kit, still have to pay for the machine work, and then I have to do all the work to assemble it. Looks like that's the serial number right there. You guys can see the back plate, they have a lot more um, mounting holes here in, in their Allen heads instead of screws, so you can probably get a little bit better torque on it. But you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Versus the stock oil pump uses the screws and then only has seven. If you go to the N1, it has eight. But if, if you guys remember when I disassembled my engine, the backing plate on mine was popping up. It's a lot of tape on this thing to hold it together. The first thing I gotta say is look how much better this is packaged versus the N1 crankshaft that I had boxed from Nissan. I was just basically sitting in there loose flopping around. HKS definitely takes their packaging serious. 
but same thing, Japanese instruction manual. That's the model number for the crankshaft, so this is all step two. I'm gonna go ahead and pop this out. So I thought the best way to kind of compare the HKS one is to put the OEM one next to it. And the biggest thing that I notice is on these uh, outlets here for the crankshaft. See how those kind of got a little bit different of an angle? Versus the factory one, everything just comes straight out. He's got a cool angle on him. And then this is all the counterweights and everything is all spun and balanced to go up to 9,000 RPMs, which is 1,000 RPMs more than stock. And your oil drive for your oil pump here. See how this is just tiny? It's maybe like what, an eight, uh, maybe a quarter of an inch, a little smaller. Look how big this is. It's like three times the size. So you'll be able to maintain that connection to the oil pump. You won't have to worry about snapping your your oil gear. So I wanted to get these in the same orientation. You guys can see the uh, the bearing numbers here, same as the stock one, and you got your oil drive here and there. But you can see how the counterbalance weights are in different locations compared to the stock crankshaft. I don't know enough about it. I don't know what I'm looking at. Um, there are also more of them. So on this center connecting rod, like look how much more material is here versus there. Probably helps keep it in sync and in balance. These are completely different than that. Same thing here versus there. So this is just a complete different design. And I'm guessing it weighs like 10 pounds heavier. Let's, uh, let's find out. So let's grab the HKS one first because my hands are clean. So I weigh 251.8 with the HKS versus 246.4. So yeah, about a five pounds difference in weight that the HKS is heavier. more weight savings I see every single one of the bottoms of these have material taken out where the stock one does not I got everything laid out on the table guys I'm working on my thumbnail that's gonna pretty much wrap up today's video I hope you guys enjoyed watching it as far as an update on the WRX I did take the ETS exhaust off if anybody's looking for an ETS exhaust for a 2022 WRX I'm uh, working with a company to be an ambassador for their brand so I've got their full exhaust coming for my car I've got the stock wheels put back on for the winter and yeah I've got more stuff coming for the WRX that that'll be uh, later on when I have some time so what I'm uncomfortable with is assembling the piston rings into the pistons and setting those into the block I'm very uncomfortable with that as far as putting like the crankshaft in and connecting the mains and all that type of stuff, I feel comfortable with that, but I really would like to have somebody assemble the entire bottom, bottom end of the engine because I want it to be done right. This is an expensive build. I don't want to fuck it up on my first time. So I'm not sure who I'm going to use. I've contacted a machine shop. I know what I'm going to do there to get all the machining and the blueprint done. But as far as assembly, that's, I got to have to figure that out. So. If you guys know anybody in Seattle, Tacoma, that is 
experience with engine assembly for RB26, let me know. I'm still looking and trying to figure it out. But you guys let me know what you think in the comments down below, HKS 2.8 liter step two stroker kit. Make sure you guys hit the thumbs up and subscribe, share the video, and I will see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching. Take care, peace out, bye-bye.